spoiler alert. Your favourite celebrities or influencers don't have these magical bodies where everything looks flattering on them. They've either spent a lot of time to work out what works on their bodies, or they've enlisted the help of expensive stylists to give them the answers. The rest of us, however, are left to our own devices. And if you're petite like me, then you'll know firsthand that the majority of brands don't cater towards vertically challenged people like us, even with the existence of these fellow beautiful vertically challenged gems who probably have access to the expensive stylist that I referred to earlier. But for mere mortals like us, it makes it difficult for us to hone in on what works on our bodies and what doesn't. Now me and my team of expensive stylists have managed to wade through the vast sea of resources and I can now summarize my key learnings in five tips. So, five ways to look taller, let's roll. So my very first tip is high-waisted everything. High-waisted things just make your legs look longer and my wardrobe is testament to that. I have a collection of high-waisted trousers, high-waisted jeans and high-waisted skirts. I find them to be the most flattering considering our shorter proportions and what I'll do is I'll also tuck my tops into my high-waisted bottoms just to make sure that I am accentuating the high-waistedness. And my body shape is pear shaped and I actually have a longer torso in comparison to my legs. They're quite short and couple that with being a short person. They just look really stubby and stocky if I'm not wearing the right thing. Creating those proportions can be really flattering on us petites. And it's a little bit of magic to trick people into thinking that your legs are longer because you have simply moved your waistline up a little bit, which screams, Hey, she's wearing high waisted bottoms, which means her legs must be longer. To which my response is, yes, that's correct. That's, that's the absolute right observation to make. Now let's talk footwear, specifically boots. And boots that stop mid-calf are particularly unflattering on petite people. Mm. For some reason, they just accentuate the fact that we are short. Instead, knee-high boots or ankle boots work quite well. Now it can be really hard hunting for the perfect ankle boot because sometimes an ankle boot on a tall person might be a mid-calf boot on a petite person. Yay! And so that just means that sometimes when you're buying online it won't always work and when you're in store trying it on then you can just pay attention to that section. On the topic of footwear, I have read that ankle straps or things that tie around your ankles should be avoided because it tends to bisect your leg and make you look shorter. For me, there is an exception to the rule depending on the length of your bottoms. And so I typically wouldn't wear something with an ankle strap or an ankle tie if I'm wearing something with a shorter hemline. I will typically wear my ankle strap shoes with trousers, like wider leg trousers, just to balance out the proportion. And I think that it works. Or well, maybe it doesn't. Tea break. And a cookie too. It's petite, like the theme of this video. My third tip is to define your waist. And that's why I love me a good belt. So typically with boxier items or with loose fitting dresses, I will always use my trusty belt to define my waist and cinch in whatever loose fitting item that I'm wearing. And creating that proportion really works to elongate your body rather than looking like a big rectangle for example and this is also why you know tucking in your tops into high-waisted trousers works so well because it also defines your waist now when it comes to items that have the belt loops already in them like jumpsuits and dresses do you often find that where the belt loops are sitting isn't necessarily where your waist is well believe it or not the fit model for the garment that you're having particular trouble with wasn't a short person and probably had a longer torso and so what I'll do in those situations is I'll ignore where the belt loops are and I'll either remove the belt and rebelt it where my waist naturally is or I will maneuver the items so that the belt loops sit where my waist is. I think it's really important when you're buying clothes that have that inbuilt belt section to make sure that the belt isn't being the unflattering part because if it's sitting at the widest part where your hips are for example then that can be quite unflattering and it can make you look shorter which is contrary to what a belt should be doing. 
Now, my fourth tip, or my penultimate tip, if you prefer unnecessarily big words, is to embrace a monochrome outfit. What a monochrome outfit does is that it's creating this long line, and because the pieces are all the same color, there's nothing there that's breaking up your body into different sections. So not only is it flattering and makes you look taller, but it's also a very stylish way to dress too. So what I will do when I'm wearing an all black or an all navy outfit is I will inject a lot of different textures in there just to make my outfit a lot more interesting. And what I also find when I'm dressing monochromatic is I, I will give myself a bit of a break with those styling rules and I won't work so hard to define my waist. I don't mind looking like a monochromatic rectangle if you know what I mean. But I feel like the monochromatic rectangle just looks taller than a broken up sectioned rectangle. So that's why I do it. And my fifth and final tip, just to round out these key linings for looking taller, is don't be afraid of the tailor. The smallest tweaks make a world of difference. Even if you just go into the tailor to take up, you know, three centimeters on a pair of trousers or a couple of centimeters on a jacket, having something that fits you perfectly, your body, your proportions, will instantly be more flattering and just make you look taller. Take, for example, this Reese blazer that I shortened at the arms, this jacket that I shortened at the arms, this other jacket, this pair of trousers, this pair of trousers, this pair of trousers, this jacket, this jacket, these other pants, and these pants. You get the point. Sometimes the cost of tailoring can outweigh the cost of the actual item, particularly if you are tailoring something that you bought from the high street. And yes, I have tailored pieces that I bought from H&M and Zara. You know, it took a while to allow myself to do that, but it makes a world of difference. And I've had no regrets because they've ended up being some of the most flattering pieces that I've owned. And I've always ended reaching for those items more because they were made for me. They were tailored for me. I will always reach for things that are flattering and you end up wearing them all because you know they're going to fit you properly and they're going to make you look taller which is the point so thank you so much for watching guys i hope that you enjoyed these styling tips particularly if you are petite like me if you like this video then be sure to hit that thumbs up button and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i upload videos about once a week about personal style workwear and handbags so i'll see you guys in my next video which should be up next week bye guys